Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another episode of Tinkercad TV. So let's get cracking. Now, friends, the goal of every episode of Tinkercad TV is to entertain and inspire. Today's design is really awesome, so let me show you what we got. Friends, today we have got a fantastic tank called the AHX Arctotus F Main Battle Tank. This comes to us from Power Plastics Entertainment. Of course, there are notes, but I'm going to shut those off for just a moment. I'm also going to click the settings. I'm going to change that background color, and I'm going to hide the grid. Friends, take a look at this wicked cool main battle tank. Oh my gosh, this thing is crazy cool. And this wicked tank is 100% created in Tankercad. Wow! Let's turn on those notes and see just what Power Plastics has shared. Power Plastics starts with what we call the History Cube. I think this is a great idea for starting a shout out. In order to become a big name on the market, AH Corporations would make a new main battle tank design starting with the AHXP. This then evolved into the Arctotus, a 5th or 6th generation main battle tank design that would finally make AH Corporations popular again. It has received impressive interest mainly from Western and European nations. Rumors say that this tank will be further developed into the Age 2 the Paladin successor. Friends, let's start with the guns. The powerful 230mm rail guns of the AHX are equipped with advanced recoil technology made from composite materials. The guns are also shorter compared to the 180mm smoothbore of the Age 01, making the X more capable in urban combat. That's cool. If we zoom in down here, we have got bolts for mounting extra armor like composite plates or explosive reactive armor. We have got a hydro pneumatic suspension allowing for the tank to lower its profile, which is also useful in urban combat. What an idea. Here we have the headlights and here we have the cameras for the commander with second generation thermals. Located on other parts of the tank as well for a 360 degree view. Friends, this one here says we can make the hull transparent to check out the interior. If you press the letter T, oh my goodness, we have got a cockpit view. Friends, this is a first. Oh my goodness, check this out. There's the display for the backup sights. That's the bolts note. Here we've got a display for the main thermal sight. These are the controls for the tank turret. Oh my goodness, that is epic. If we spin to the other side, let's see what we've got here. This is the touch screen for the cameras. This is the control and screen for the panoramic view that switches the gunner's view. Right here we've got the Eagle Sight Combat Helmet. It allows the crew to see through the vehicle thanks to armor adapted to be invisible. That's cool. This allows for higher situational awareness than we would get on normal periscopes. As we spin around in here, we also have air conditioning unit for the crew. It also is nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare protected, as is the entire tank. That's awesome. Really dig all the details up here, including hinges on the hatches. I'm going to hit T and turn that back to solid, and let's work through the rest of these notes. Right here we have a large launcher-based APS that intercepts APF, SDS, but can also intercept anti-tank guided missiles when small launchers are all used up. Right here we have a backup site, and check it out if we hit T for transparent, we can see inside it. I'm going to do F to fit view. There's the T for transparent, and you can see inside the sights. That is such a cool idea. Also, we can look inside the turret by pressing T for transparent as well. We have got a heavily protected carousel autoloader with 20 shells as backup. It is so cool that Power Plastics took time to do the interior of this as well. 
Right here, friends, we have the main gunner sight with fourth generator thermals, ATT laser rangefinder, and the ballistic computer. And of course, if we hit T for transparent, we can see inside there as well. That's awesome. This is the panoramic sight for the commander with third generation thermals. This is a 12.7 millimeter machine gun remote controlled weapon station with third generation thermals. We also have radar that can act as an APS, similar to that of the type of the AH-01, but enhanced, also can be used for electronic warfare. Spinning around to this side, we have an unnamed APS system that intercepts anti-tank guided missiles. We also have a bustle autoloader with 40 shells, using a conveyor rack system to move the rear storage to the front when the frontal rounds are all used. Of course, friends, here comes the cool part. T for transparent, and you can see all those rounds. That's awesome. Once again, I will hit T to turn it back to solid. As we move to the rear, there is a rear camera. And, of course, right here we can find tail lights. And as we spin around, we've got another APS system, also intercepting anti-tank guided missiles and APF SDS shells using launchers and radar. And finally, let's zip over here. Friends, this is the original sized engine. For the rear, I took a massive inspiration from the Leopard 2. And then also, it was inspired by the Leo 2, but with some of his own elements. And then finally, let's press F for fit view. This right here is a projectile belonging to the AHX fired from the railguns. This powerful projectile is capable of passing by some hard kill systems. That's awesome. Friends, let's zoom out and check this again. Once again, F for fit view gives us a great view of it. And of course, I'll shut off notes so we can take one more look at this wicked cool main battle tank created by Power Plastics. Dude, your tank is a beast and your skills are awesome. Your attention to detail and sharing all these notes makes this absolutely fantastic. On top of that, the ability to turn transparent and see inside your machine is awesome. Power Plastics, great job and once again, thanks for sharing. Friends, remember if you ever create something awesome and want to share it with me, it is so darn easy. All you need to do is click up here on the collaboration button, generate a link, copy that link, and you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Friends, if those options don't work for you, don't forget there is also my website, HLModTech.com. I have got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. You can also find my day one lessons, useful starters, and the Tinkercad Essentials. Friends, down at the bottom, you'll also find a link to the built-in messaging tool. If you click that button, you can add your question, comment, or suggestion and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, as you can see, we've got more than 700 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Friends, I do also want to let you know that right under the Essentials is my Tinkercad profile. When you click that link, you will see all of my designs sorted by most recent. Don't forget if you click on any design under the property you will likely find a tutorial that will help you build it yourself. Of course friends, reactions are also appreciated. If you'd rather see them sorted by the total likes, you can click here and you can check out my most popular project. Of course no matter which design you pick, there will be a tutorial. Don't forget, friends, there are also circuit designs and code block designs that you can check out as well. Friends, as I wrap up this episode of Tinkercad TV, I just want to say thanks again to Power Plastics. Oh my goodness, the attention to detail and your skills are off the charts, and it's so cool that you took time to share your tank with us. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech.
Thanks for watching. Have a great day.